Come on in. I'd like to show you the AYA Drop-In Center. It's a safe space for local youth. The center services include free clothing, food, and hygiene products, which are donated by partner organizations and by kind people such as yourself. Now here's Chase to show you all about Alaska Seas of Change. Hi. I'm Chase. Let's check out the bird's eye view of the greenhouse. This is Alaska Seeds of Change, an 8,000 square foot vertical hydroponic greenhouse. Our greenhouse is organized in two main zones. Zone 1, where we grow our herbs. This includes basil, chives, and parsley, among others. And Zone 2, where we grow lettuce. Specifically, we grow Salanova and New Red Fire Lettuce. We sell to three main channels, Arctic Harvest Deliveries, the Alaska Commercial Company, and local farmers markets. Now I'll show you the greenhouse floor. We also teach specific job skills including maintaining a complex hydroponic system, working as a team, learning respectful work communication skills, working in a food safe environment, and building a solid work ethic. Now that I've described what Alaska Seeds of Change does, here's Chantel to tell you a bit about how we do it. Thanks Chase. My name is Chantel. I'm going to tell you about how our system works. Our system works a lot like the circulatory systems in our bodies. While the IBC, intermediary bulk container, is the heart of our system, the intelidos is its brain. The IBC pumps our nutrient solution through the system so that it can reach each individual plant. The nutrient solution, like blood, is pumped through our feed lines which act like arteries. The water is then collected and brought back to the IBC through our main drain lines, the veins of our system, where it returns back to the IBC to go through our system again. Once that water returns to the IBC, the intelidose goes to work. The plant roots have taken up so much of the nutrients as the water originally drips onto them, so the intelidose needs to measure this water to see how many nutrients it needs to mix into the IBC. In order to do this, the intelidose measures the pH and EC of the nutrient solution. The pH scale measures acidity and basicity of our nutrient solution, which is ideally between 5.5 and 6.5, which is slightly acidic on the pH scale. EC stands for electrical conductivity and is the measurement of charged particles in the solution. This can be thought of as the parts per million of nutrients in our solution. These two tan reservoirs are where our nutrient solutions are mixed and stored. Stock A is an herb and lettuce formula and stock B is calcinate. These together with supplementary iron create the full nutrient profile for healthy vegetative growth. Now that you know about the IBC, let's go talk to Sydney about the bits and pieces. Hi Sydney. Thanks Chantel. I'm going to talk about our mesh, towers, carts, and lights. This is a wicking strip, a woven cotton strip that conducts water from the drippers to plant roots. The mesh matrix holds all the materials together in the tower case and allows plant roots to grow through it. The mesh matrix holds all the materials together in the tower case and allows plant roots to go through it. It's made from recycled plastic water bottles. To load the tower, we set the wicking strip inside the mesh and fold the mesh to put it in the tower. The towers are placed in the cart, loading the top and the bottom. Our LED lights have a balanced red, white, and blue LED array on them to simulate the sun's energy for photosynthesis. There are three carts per row and they are on wheels so they are modular and mobile. Those are the bits and pieces but it starts with the plug. 
We first put a seed into it and then put it into the germination station. Thanks a heap, Sydney, and what a good looking plug indeed. Let's make sure you've got a cozy home, little one. Little bit of twisting here and a lift there. Ah. This here box is the termination station. It simulates a warm spring morning by heating up water into steam. The steam rises and moistens the plugs, stimulating the seeds within to grow. When the sprouts are ready, it's time to introduce them to our nutrients and lights. And here's Liz to show us how we're doing. Thank you. Let's go to Sprout City, AKA the Baby Bubble. This is where the sprouts mature. It's a small hydroponic system. I'd like to tell you about some key pieces. The reservoir at the bottom is a container that is filled with diluted nutrient water, allowing the sprouts to get used to the nutrient load from the IBC tanks. This will help the sprouts avoid root shock. These lights support plant growth without burning the delicate leaves. There are also ladybugs, our meat-eating soldier bugs. They eat soft body pests like thrips and aphids. Once our sprouts have matured, we transplant them into our system where they will grow for six to eight weeks until they are harvested. Thank you all for joining us for our virtual tour of Alaska Seeds of Change and Alaska Youth Advocates. 